So Battlefield 5 has been out in the news recently. I wanted to do a video on uh, what's going on. You probably already know about what happened at the beginning whenever EA released their official trailer reveal for the game. There was an outcry uh, about women and stuff like that and about women being on the battlefield and uh, a woman with a prosthetic arm being on a battlefield. They're saying this outcry is from a vocal minority of uh, white male Nazis. <laughs> If there's that many Nazis in our country, then I think we have something to be worried about. But yeah, so it's definitely not a vocal minority like like these people like to say all the time. It's the fan base. It's the fan base that they've had for years. I myself only started playing Battlefield since Battlefield 1 came out. Um, it was a really good game. I really liked it. I really, uh, I really enjoyed that game. I was looking forward to what they had to offer us in the Battlefield 5. Unfortunately, it did go back to World War II, which, um, you know, we've been playing Call of Duty World War II, and I feel like that whole World War II genre has just been overplayed, but still, the trailer looks like the graphics look cool and stuff like that, but, you know, they have to put their, they have to put their freaking agenda and everything, and I think they're gonna learn that that's not gonna work. So the first article here, we're looking at uh, VG247.com. They're saying that pre-orders are down more than 85%. They're behind Call of Duty Black Ops 4 and what else? Oh yeah, Red Dead Redemption 2. A little game called Red Dead Redemption 2. A lot of people on YouTube, I've I've seen their videos. They've been kind of defending defending this down 85% deal by saying, well, it's coming out between Call of Duty and Red Dead Redemption 2, so of course it's gonna, you know, it's gonna be hurting, but it did better than, like, last year whenever Battlefield 1 came out, it did better than Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, even though, you know, Infinite Warfare was having problems with their fan base at that time, too. Uh, also, you have to look at, it's not the same kind of game as Red Dead Redemption 2, either. It's, it's a completely different, it's a first-person shooter, it's completely different than than that style of RPG game. What I think they should do is just move the date back then and, and then we'll see if people are are still ordering this game which they're not. And then they're saying they have a contingency plan. They're gonna release some free DLC or something to win fans back. I don't think that's gonna work man. The only reason why is because they're doubling down on this saying that we're right you're wrong. We're the game studio. We decide what you're gonna like and if you don't like it, then don't buy it. They came out and said that flat out. If you don't like our game, then don't buy it. So <laughs> that's what we're doing. And now they're doubling down even more. <laughs> and they're coming out and saying, it's a shame Battlefield 1 didn't initially include women. Battlefield 5 dev says, I don't think it's a bandwagon thing. It's about gamers wanting to express themselves in different ways. So DICE comes out and whoever this guy, this guy is says, Grondel says, I think it's a shame we didn't add women, because that perhaps would have been better for us. I don't think it's a bandwagon thing, I think it's about gamers wanting to express themselves in different ways. If you take a look at Battlefield historically, it's been about expressing yourself through gameplay. Solving problems the way you want to, these characters fall perfectly in line with that thinking. We've already gone over the argument of there was no women on the front lines of World War II. Sorry, there weren't. <laughs> But what I want to talk about today is most of the people that are playing first person shooters like this are boys. And boys don't want to play as girls. Especially girls that have a prosthetic arm, right? <laughs> I'm sorry that that's a hard fact. And the girls that do play uh, first person shooters were apparently fine playing as, as men. <laughs> because past games have done well. Past games like... Battlefield 1 have done well, even though there were problems with that game too. What these game studios are doing right now is they're trying to paint everybody with a broad brush. They're trying to reach out to an audience that isn't there. To these SJWs that aren't going to play this game, they're not going to buy it. They're not just ignoring their <laughs> their fan base. They're trashing it. Basically, they, they, trashed, they trashed their fan base. They said, you know, if you don't want to buy it, then don't buy it. So that's exactly what's happening with this. That's exactly why... This number exists here on the uh, official reveal trailer. There are other YouTubers out there. I won't name any names. You probably already knew who it is. This guy used to be somebody that I watched. Uh, and then as soon as this came out, he started chilling hard for Battlefield 5. They're saying that it was just these gosh darn Trump supporters that don't like women. They don't want women in their games. 
and they're they're just they're yelling around and they they they're just these neckbeards they don't know what they're talking about but it's not i mean it's just their entire fan base and even their girl players don't don't want this so i'm sure that they're just gonna double down even more now uh, apparently since they since they went and said this like it's a shame we didn't have women in battlefield one <laughs> you know it's nothing about the women either. Like that's an argument that they like to use. It's just that we can see through their actions, their their agenda behind all this, and all they're trying to do is preach us their politics, make us play their their freaking game, and it's not happening because the sales are down. There's a bunch of down votes, you know, on the video. This game's gonna crash and burn. So I hope they learned their lesson from this, but it doesn't look like they are. They're just doubling down once again, saying, you know, I wish I could have done this in the past. Uh, they're not interested in making money, at least not at, at this moment, because they keep basically giving the middle finger to the fans. I said it once, I'll say it again. If you want to make money, give people what they want. So that wraps up this video. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, are you going to buy this game? I'm not because they told me not to. So uh, anyway, have a good one. And I'll see you next time.